Mudokoi, Mudokoi, maize without husks. This is a dish among the Kamba community from the eastern part of Kenya, and I am going to show you how to make it. So it usually entails removing the outer skin of the maize grains by using a pestle and mortar, which in our language we like to call mudi. Na, mudi, nandi. <laughs> It is then mixed with beans or French beans piece. Uh, so let's go ahead and share the recipe. kg so it's not even full uh, but so with this i'm then going to have a full um basically the same size but now of the um so for this size of mudokoi which is like almost um more than half a kg so this is a one kg thingy so more than half a kg of the mudokoi itself and then I'm going to be mixing that with um, a full one uh, of beans. So I think for me, I prefer if the ratio of beans is more than that of the mudokoi. I feel like it becomes it's sweeter. So that's how I do, like I measure. So before I cook. So I'm going to show you the procedure of preparing it and also how I end up making it into a meal. So I'm going to take my uteo guys, we call this uteo, I don't know what it's called in um, English, <laughs> but it's what um, I use to put the beans, uh, which are direct from the shamba, so badus, they have not been chaguliwad, is it called chaguliwad? <laughs> They are not yet clean, so I kind of like have to um, go through them one by one to remove all this so that we can have a clean set of beans. So that's what we are going um, to be doing. myself because there's like so much you'll find like so many stones and others are really big like if you bite into this your teeth can even in so i'm done so this is all the chafu that has come from the beans uh, so what you're going to do now that they are clean as you can see i'm going to just uh, put them in a bowl of water wash them nicely i usually wash twice and then now i will soak them in the same water that i'm going to put uh, on the fire with uh to, to soak in for like 10 minutes um it doesn't really do anything i don't know if it does anything but i feel like for me it softens up the beans so that now when i put it on fire it uh chemkas quickly so you put this first um before adding in the motokoi this and then you give this some time to get ready because beans usually take longer to um, eva before the motokoi. So that's why I put it uh, before. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do.
later. So this is how the beans are looking at the moment and at this point is where I want to now wash the mudokwe and add. Um, I think it's a good stage. Um, they are floating, they look like they are halfway there so that way they will, ripe, they will be ready, they will become ready when the mudokoi is ready as well. So here is my mudokoi. I want to wash it. I've already um, used the hotel to, I don't know what it's called, <laughs> wind blow for those who know, um, to remove the extras. So now I want to wash this and then now we can go ahead and add it into the beans. I feel like the water is not enough so what I've done I've just boiled some water on the side which is what I'm going to be adding then now I'll go ahead and add the mudokoi So I'm not planning to mix it at this stage, but we're just going to flatten it. Um, just flatten it like that. And then now leave it to boil. One. Okay, so it's been like uh, 20 minutes. And we want to see progress. By now it's already mixed up, I guess because of the boiling. Uh, Maragua, you can see it splits into half, but it's not yet ready. And for the mudokoi, also I guess the same thing. It's You're able to press, but it's not completely ready. So we are going to give it like another 10-15 minutes. Um, then we see if it's almost there, but uh, it's looking good, it's looking good. So guys, I think uh, our mutokoi is ready. Let's just try pinching again and see. So, I'm just going to test. I think the mutokoi ready the beans are also ready you can also just pinch you see although it's usually very hot but uh yeah uh, I'm trying but it's hot anyway so you can just test um i think it's ready so what we're going to do um we're going to get rid of the extra water um, and then I'll come back and show you guys how it looks so I've removed the extra water I'm just going to leave it um, in the heat so that it completely dries off um, so for mutokoi I think this is the best stage for me you can Eat it like this and just put some butter or some blue band and you're good to go or just some salt it just depends on how you like it but it's a completely ready meal although um, you can also do a little bit of frying uh, which I'll probably show you guys um, when I'm frying it um, just to get some soup some soup in it um, or just something yeah to make it sweeter but that is our mudokoi good to go ready to go completely love it there it is completely ready